Okay, so there's the first rod in. First rod's baited up, cast in, and now I'm just going to set up the second rod. First rod I put in there is the straight lead, it's a gripper lead, it's a running lead on the line. Very light tackle, light rod, one and a half test curve rod, and it's it's got a strong hook length, however, the line's only six pound. Fishing with a little eight mil sausage, spicy sausage pellet, which has also been glugged in spicy sausage lava flavour. So there we have it. Um, just cast that one in straight away. Um, and now I'm going to prepare my, my other heavier rod now, so let's see what happens. Okay, now that's both rods in the water. Both rods are in this one here. It's my heavy feeder rod. Now that's hopefully going to bag me up a nice big double figure barbel. Cast it straight into where I lost the barbel the last time I was down. And that was a big fish. I caught a double figure one, but the one that I lost was, was heavier. Felt heavier, fought heavier. So I'm sure it was a decent sized fish. So let's see if this big double still at home. Knocked straight on his door with a big feeder load of pellets. So there we have the heavy rod. And down to my right is a lighter rod. Now, that's a bit of a sleeper rod. I'm not really gonna do much with that one. It's only got a straight gripper lead on it and a smaller pellet on there. So let's see what happens anyway. But both methods fishing well here. Happy days. Let's see what happens. I've already seen a kingfisher fly right across my bank right across when I was doing the hyperlapse. Unfortunately, I thought it would have been fantastic if I had had this camera down in slow motion. Okay, so I've set the camera up here so you can just see both rod tips. You can see the rod tip here on my left. Very easy to see with that with a white at the end. Um, second rod, it's a bit harder to see, it's further down and right close to the water edge there. And it's just off to the right and that's the end of the rod just where my little, my fingers pointing now so there we have the both rods so i'm going to keep watching them and just wait for a big bite see if i can capture it on camera and there we have the bells for nine o'clock that's nine o'clock fishing commencing I really do love these bells. It just gives the place a really, an extra special feel. Well, first strike to the left hand rod for a little dace. So, <laughs> I always start off with a little dace. So, it's a beautiful little fish. I'll just unhook it, slip it back, and then get it right back out there and see if we can catch a barb. A nice chub. Big long fish, length of it. Absolutely, almost, almost the length of my arm, really. It's got a bit of damage on it from an old wound. Maybe where a pike's had it, so it's a lovely fish anyway. A bit of damage to its tail as well. Yeah. I just see a couple of scales that are wrong on that side, but watch this. Look at that on that side, all that damage. That's usually when a pike grabs it and it heals over over the years and it grows. A big scar like that. That's wonderful. Well, nice big long chub. I'm gonna slip this one back. Happy days. That was an otter, by the way. Huh. The otter's right up under the bank there. It's definitely a chub night tonight for me. I've got another chub here. Not as big as the last one, but it's a lovely fish. Cracker. I'll put this one back. Well, I've been very, very lucky. I've 
only gone and hooked a barbell on this light tackle. This is the rod that was sitting in close. This is the single lead, single pellet. <laughs> that's the one that's produced the barbell, but I haven't caught it yet. I've only got six pound line on. I'm gonna go down and land this. There we have it, I've been very lucky. And it's only a little small barbell, but give me great sport on the on the light line. I was using six pound main line. Very strong hook length, so that's what helped me land it. Um, I've got confidence in in the hook length that I'm using. So that allows me to use a lighter line. But that's a lovely fish. And it smells it smells like my pellet, so. So obviously been munching my pellets. That's gorgeous. Happy days. Turn the slipper back. I've only just put that barbell back and, and put this rod in the exact same spot. And again, I'm in the another barbell on the light rod again, single pellet, in close. <laughs> this is the better barbell. This is the better barbell. All you know is all the <laughs> I'm gonna go down all and edit so. so here we have barbell number two. And I don't know if it's, this one might be just, just a little smaller than the first one actually, but it fought just as hard, if not a little bit harder. Gorgeous colour, golden brown, it's beautiful. And just to let you know as well, I'm using barbless hooks. There we are, straight out. I'm using barbless hooks. Both barbell cop using barbell barbless hooks. Don't let people tell you that barbless hooks are rubbish because you can still land beautiful big barbell like that on the ribble without a problem. I'm using the other barbless hook. That's gorgeous. That's a lovely fish, isn't it? Just beautiful. Look at the colour. It's like a gold, real goldy colour. It's lovely. A little bit smaller than the last one. Still about six pound, I'd say. But no need to weigh them. Beautiful. Yep, I think I'm going to slip this one straight back in. Well, that's two to the rod that... That's two to the rod that I didn't expect to catch on, really. It was the sleeper rod. So, let's get this one back. I'm having a great night here on the Ribble. What I want to show you before slipping this one back, this barbell has obviously been caught before but got away. And it's still got, still got the hook in its mouth. Look, there you go. Set that down gently. And there you have a hook. I was in that barbell's mouth, that's obviously snap somebody. Snap somebody. Clean. Unbelievable. Well, I've done that barbell a favour. Happy days. It's always... Ouch. It's always a good idea to fall into the ribble. <laughs> I was about to say, it's always a good idea to rest your barbell in the net before releasing it with its head facing upstream and you can see this barbell is wriggling around so it's plenty of time to recover and now just to release her and there she goes Off to fight another day, and that moon's out. Such a magnificent night. A great night to dip your feet in the ribble, anyway. <laughs> Fantastic. Barbel! Barbel on the big rod this time. That's a big fish. Oh, 
this, this isn't a small one, boys. Oh, it's going over me over. It's going over me over the head. Oh, it's going over me over the head. I think I'm going to have to go and concentrate with this now, so next time you see me, I'll be holding a barbell. It's the smallest one. Could you believe it? It's only a little barbell. <laughs> well, I've come down to my favourite swim. Um, back down to the same place as the last time. Right underneath the church clocks. I ain't gonna call this stretch the church clocks stretch. I christened it church clocks. There you go. Right and I'm gonna try tonight because I didn't catch a, a big barbell because I know there is big barbell here. I've caught a double figure. I've had one double from this point but I'm sure there's bigger fish. I lost a bigger fish so that's my quest tonight. I'm using the same tactics as I was using last time. I'm using coated braid and it's a camo text coated braid so it's camouflage. And what I like about that as well is the braid underneath when you strip the coating off the braid it still continues to have the, the camouflage pattern which I like. Uh, not that it matters much in this darkness but it was good. It, it helped me catch the barbell in daylight and chub and dace so it's good stuff so i'm using a very sharp hook with lassoed ambush pellet on there and four ounce feeders on two rods and the same again just loaded with mixed pellet tried pellets and i threw in a couple of spicy sausage pellet as well and then that's basically it i've got one rod out basically in front of me can you hear that owl? This place is absolutely full of wildlife. Owls, owls everywhere. That's on the opposite bank. There's owls right behind me as well. It's fantastic down here, it really is. So one rod in front of me and one rod in close, really close, where I was catching the barbell on the center pin in one of my last videos. So I'm also hoping that maybe a river carp will take that bait because it's in really slack water but targeting the the barbell last time on the center pin hoping to get a carp but I got barbell um, that's give me an idea the river's up about the same amount maybe just a little bit more actually water's colored and the barbell moved into that slow slack water so oh that's not a, that's not an owl that's a heron crane it's a big heron crane <laughs> full of wildlife I'm telling you so I'm hoping that that right hand rod will rip off and it's either going to be a barbell or hopefully a carp and then usual the other rods the, the heavy, heavier rod it's a flood water rod that I usually use it's two and three quarter test very strong and it's, it's coupled with a really strong um, quite a large reel but a perfect size to match the rod got 12 I'm actually trying a new line as well I usually use either Diaba sensor or um, Cor it's Corda subline in 10 pound gravel brown I usually use that um, or or Diaba sensor I've used Diaba sensor to 15 pound in the past but usually about 10 pounds perfect for the river but I'm trying a new version of the Diaba sensor I've put it on both rails and it's the Daiwa Hypersensor and it's got a really low diameter um, for the size. I'm actually I'm actually using 12 pound line but it's actually got a lower diameter than the subline at, at 10 pound. So okay so I've been fishing for about 50 minutes and I've been rewarded already with a bar of gold. A lovely seven pound bar of gold from the river ribble. It's just beautiful. And this gave me such a fight, I'm telling you, for a small barbel. You know, it's it's actually a pro probably quite average, but 
It gave me such a fight, I'm telling you. It just didn't want to give up. And this extra flow as well, it just works really well with the torpedo shape. The barbel are the bottom feeders and they can they can lie on the bottom in the fastest of flows because they're perfectly streamlined, you see. And they just they use that to their advantage and they give you such a fight. And I'll tell you what, my arm is absolutely aching. It's my quest tonight to catch a bigger one and I'm gonna keep trying. I've only been here 50 minutes, so still got plenty of time to catch that magic double. But in the meantime, I've been blessed with this lovely bar of gold. Oh. All the barbel action seems to be coming on the light rod in close. Um, I have just caught a fish here. And where do you see this? This is a cracker fish. Isn't that a cracker? Isn't that just a cracker? That's a cr fish. That is an absolute beezer of a fish. Look at this. She tries a bit of the rocky quite tasty. But I had them out of lock iron <laughs> and then a skillet. Lovely. The longer you pull it, the easier it comes. That's been feeding. <laughs> Very well. Just a tail. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm getting little knocks and little taps on this right hand rod. Um, I'm quite confident that that rod is going to produce another fish very soon. Uh, left hand rod, not a lot of action, had that eel. Uh, it's not doing much, uh, but it's nearly midnight now. So a fish just, what have we fished? About two hours, roughly. And I've had a barbell and that lovely eel. And I've just had a wee look at the Met Office weather uh, app and apparently it's going to absolutely hammer it down, heavy rain, <laughs> from midnight onwards. So what are we on now? It's coming up to a couple of minutes to just, just gone 5 to 5 to 12. And there is light drizzle at the minute. Um, so it could all change and <laughs> if it does I'm just going to pack up. That's what it's all about, coming down, wee short sessions like this, and this is what usually gets you the fish. Now, when I got my personal best barbel, I did that um, every little opportunity, just to come down to the river, and I was only going down sometimes for 45 minutes, and I was catching a couple of barbel. Well, a few years back, when I got my 13-8, that's what I was doing, Fishwick, um, near the golf course, just before Mellings Wood, and I was going down, just, this is what time of year it was, because it was getting dark at nine o'clock, so probably about the same time of year, end of August time, when I got that. And the, the river was really low at the time as well. So it just gives you a bit of insight. So if you're thinking about going down there, you know, we short sessions, we short spells. And if you don't catch, you don't catch. Here comes the rain, and it is heavy. Yep, here comes the rain. So uh, on that note, I think I'll just pack up and quit while I'm ahead. I've had a cracker couple of hours on the ribble and I'm really excited next time I'm gonna get that double I am indeed <laughs> I was just packing everything away look everything's packed and like I said before I was getting little knocks I was getting little knocks on the, the light rod which is this one packed everything else away packed the big rod away it's absolutely hammering it down out of the heavens but there's something inside me it said keep fishing keep fishing and I left the rod that was getting taps and I actually was getting little knocks and little indications on the end of the rod like this so I thought I'll just pick it up and I'll do the 100 second countdown well I got to number 70 so I counted 30 seconds and I felt a whap and with that look what was on the end boys I was touch actually actually touch ledger and I caught a bigger barbel can you believe that See, look, there's me over a rig packed away. There's it all packed away and all. I can't believe it. And look, I've caught this lovely beast. 
Now, I've not weighed this, and I don't know, I don't think it's a double, but oh, I don't know, it's a good fish. It is a good fish, like, it is good, I'd say it's a nine. I'll have to wait and see, but she's had a rest anyway in the net and all, so I'm gonna get her weighed. Let's see what this is. Happy days. Never give up, never give up. Nine pound and six ounces of River Ribble hard fighting barbel. I'm absolutely delighted with that. Not quite the double, but it's made me a happy man. That's lovely. Lovely fish. She'll go back and fight well. Some of her lucky angler will catch this fish later in the year when she's a bit heavier. This will be the magic double. So that's great. Do you know that just goes to show you that if you just hang on to the last minute, you just don't know what you're gonna catch. I mean I was I was quite content with a one barbel in the eel. I was going home, I was getting taps, so there's something inside said no. Carry on, carry on. And I lifted the rod, I was feeling little taps. I waited for something more positive and as soon as I felt something positive, hit that. I was counting down from 100, got to 70, felt a fud, I struck into it, and I was playing this lovely River Ebo barbel. Nine pounds, six ounces, happy days. Feeling from me Show you all the way 